So The Walking Dead's first episode of the post-Rick Grimes era, Who Are You Now?, was an amazing start to what I guess you could call almost like a old series, new series start. I, I want to give a lot of credit first to showrunner Angela Kang, who's been saying all along that this season was going to be the season of women, that women were really going to be stepping up and really going to be taking charge. And wow, did she really live up to that and in a great way in this episode. It was just nice and refreshing to see this. Now, I know there's some people who may be watching this roll in their eyes. I, I don't really care. It just was nice to get a strong female perspective from a lot of different directions in this episode. And I think it really helped establish where things are going to be going moving forward. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't start off with Judith Grimes, Kaylee Fleming, who, again, is just the Grimes we need for where this series is going forward. She is Rick Grimes with a little bit of Shane already at a young age. The, the way she's just able to get Eugene, Rosita, and Aaron over to her side about bringing Magna and the survivors over. Their, um, the way she's able to ease, um, just I, I guess generally the group's concerns, especially with Magna's concerns because of the things they've been through and how they're hesitant to go in to the Alexandria community. And also the exchanges with Michonne. You know, that, that, that at, towards the end when they're having the exchange about the voices and how she really gets it to, through to Michonne to say, look, I'm losing my, my father and my brother's voices because I just it's been so long. Don't you lose those voices. And more importantly, what she's saying to Michonne is don't lose the things that, that you and my dad held on to for so long. I, I just think she is a fine lock her into some serious contract time. But because, again, I think she just set an amazing tone. She's become the central character already. I, I know... Daryl hasn't been on long, and I know we're going to get give Norman Reedus a chance to step up, but right now, Norman, you got Kaylee you have to compete with. And then, of course, there's Michonne, and what I loved is the fact that there was the concern in the beginning, but we see Michonne is bigger than the, the Negan, I, I guess, qualities that could be in play or the temptation to go the Negan route, though I got to say, she was playing super ultra badass right from the very beginning. That nope that she hit Magna with, or I should say no, as she was walking out, that was just a, a drop mic moment of the, of the entire episode. Um, the backstory with the ex I'm very curious about and, and what it was. It wasn't just the loss of Rick that hardened her up. There clearly were other things that happened over the six-year jump that came into play that I'm very curious to see about. Um, the shirt, I know people a lot of, were talking about, oh, that's so sweet, oh, that's so nice, and, and it was. But I think there was also the symbolism of I can put back on some of the old ways, that I can start to trust a little bit again, that I don't need to necessarily let my guard down, but Rick's ways can still apply even though the future, as we see, is going to be getting a lot darker. Carol, uh, pimp move of the episode, that whole lighting of the match, the symbolism of that alone, we can take it from the standpoint of Carol just showing, look, I can be the queen and I can be warrior, so I'm a warrior queen, I'm not just a queen. But the symbolism of saying, look, we're moving on from the past. We're ending this savior's issue. We may have Negan around, but otherwise we're saving this, uh, we're getting rid of the savior's issue once and for all, and the torching was just, that was bold. And I love that scene where Henry notices um, the ring. Uh, back on uh, Carol's hand. I just love that. Magna, even. I love the new group of survivors. Magna, uh, Nadia, uh, Hilker. I want to make sure I get that right. All of them are great. I'm going to be talking about all of them, but I think she just created just a great, strong performance. Not cliche, not stereotyped. It could have gone a different route about, you know, the the, the ex-con who can't be trusted. and But the exchanges amongst the survivors were very, very real. And I thought Magna's reactions, especially the handing over the knife to Michonne, I thought was very, very real. Even Rosita, I have to say, and I, I've been championing this idea of Rosita getting more to do. I love the the Gabriel thing. Okay, I'll be honest. It kind of threw me. I'm still not buying into that, but that's okay because I, I, I've been buying into the whole Rosita Eugene thing, so I'm hoping that pans out. But just seeing Rosita more actively involved, even this idea that she's got guys courting and suiting her. I'm not trying to be sexist when I say that, but just this, even Rosita has more of a story and a control factor and a power in the season. And I really love that, but I guess probably the best example I could give is Go back to Judith, that exchange where she had with Negan, and Negan's trying to lay some wisdom down on her about stray dogs and things like that. And when she just looks at him and goes, yeah, well, basically, where'd that get you? I think that line alone symbolizes the strength that they've brought to women going into this new chapter of, of the series. And I'm really looking forward to it. Great start post-Rick Grimes era.